What is up guys, this is Sid and here is what happened this week in Epic Science. It is well established that light can act both as an energy wave and a particle, although this has been debated extensively. But for the first time ever, researchers have been able to physically observe and photograph light as both a particle and as a wave, once and for all proving the existence of this quantum mechanical phenomenon. Briefly, the researchers blasted a metal wire with UV light to create a standing wave of light, and then shot electrons into this wave in order to disturb and interact with individual photons. This is a massive development toward the assessment of quantum quantum computing, and understanding the fundamental nature of light. In medical news, a South African surgical team just announced the world's first successful penile transplant. A man whose member had been previously amputated due to a failed circumcision received a donor's fully functional unit through a grueling 9-hour surgery. This will enable him to lead a normal life, while giving hope to victims of such accidents all over the world. We've all experienced deja vus, or remember things that never actually happened. Well, researchers in France were able to successfully implant artificial memories into the minds of sleeping mice. Scientists inserted electrodes into the medial forebrain bundle, which is part of the brain's reward system, and the hippocampus, which is part of our learning and memory function. They stimulated these regions of the brain whenever neurons called place cells, or cells that help animals recognize their environment, were active in the brain, helping associate fake positive memories with a given physical location. When the mice woke up, they spent five times longer exploring these physical locations, telling us that new memories and positive associations were formed in their brains. These findings, although only done with mice, are a step forward with regard to helping people with memory problems or mental health disorders. It makes you wonder though, are your memories even real? The Cassini spacecraft that has been investigating Saturn since 2004 has told us quite a bit about the planet and its numerous moons, but a recent study published in Nature magazine reveals that one of Saturn's 60 plus moons, Enceladus, has geysers emitting strong plumes of water, sand, and ice, which indicate possible hydrothermal activity under its surface. The Cassini spacecraft has shown that these plumes of neutral water contain silicate and sodium salts, which indicate the presence of a possible ocean under Enceladus's icy crust, with hydrothermal vents with temperatures above 90 degrees Celsius. This puts it among the top contenders for the possibility of life in our solar system. And speaking of oceans on moons, it looks like we have another moon where life could exist. That's right, new observations by the Hubble Space Telescope this week offer a strong evidence for an ocean under the surface of Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. Aside from being the largest moon in our solar system, Ganymede is the only moon we know of with its own magnetic field. And this field, much like Earth's magnetic field, produces aurora. The Hubble Telescope, by observing the shifts in these aurora with relation to Jupiter's own immense magnetic field, deduced that there is a moving salient ocean present under Ganymede's 93 mile thick icy crust that influences how these aurora behave. With all these discoveries of extraterrestrial oceans being made in our solar system, it might not be too far off in the future that humans can go explore them ourselves. And that's it for this week in Epic Science. If you enjoyed the video, show that like button some love. Comment below what you think about these epic discoveries. And of course, subscribe for new science videos every other day. You've been listening to Science Sid, and I'll see you guys next time. Once and for all. <laughs> Once and for all.